excited to join me on this magical day. I would not miss my daughter's 26th birthday. Come on in, Papa. I wouldn't want you to catch a cold. Well, ever since your mother died, I've been used to the cold. Hola, señora. I wasn't expecting to see you today. Yes, Concha. I know I haven't been came to see you too in a very long time, but I thought it was that time. You all came to me in a dream. I think it was a dream. It all seemed so real. She said that my soul would never rest if I never accept you for who you are. That's so strange, for I dreamt of my mom telling me to forgive you for all these years of neglect. Her mom was always very wise. Best in her class and the best of the cook. Senor Alex, your daughter is a great cook. Every meal she serves me makes me fall in love all over again with her. It is as, as if she put some kind of fortune on my food. Tell me, Tita, what are you making? It smells splendid. I'm making chocolate now, Papa. Let's come to my knowledge that, that Tita and Pedro died together, son. I may not be happy with the idea of her dying in such a painful way, but I have faith that what Morning Light once told me as a child has finally come true. It makes me feel content that Tita had what I desperately wanted to give her and that she made the right thing by choosing Pedro. Why are you telling me this, Pops? What are you trying to say? I have been trying for years to find a way to prove my grandmother's, my grandmother's thesis and this seems to have proven it correct. I just need to gather the evidence and people will see what we are truly all made of. How will you accomplish that? How can you provide someone something they cannot see or touch? You are wrong, Alex. You can see the soul. That fire was Tita's soul being fed. The day of your wedding, I gave her my soul. What do you mean? I don't understand. I gifted her a box of matches because I knew that she would use them one day. They weren't any of any use for me anymore. I had grown tired of carrying a cold and soggy soul. Oh, Papa, she's standing right in front of me. You're not dead. The reason that you can see me is that I am now in my spirit form. Just like morning light once was for Tita. I came here to tell you that you need to tell everyone in your path to follow their hearts. Keep in mind that I lived a happy life and that sometimes love doesn't have, the, have to be romantic. But for your family yeah, as well. Papa, uh -huh. I love you. I love you more than I, than I have ever loved anyone. I'm not aware the recipe was getting in the cookbook. Yeah, it was as if the cookbook was telling me what to do. It was as if I heard Great Aunt Tita's voice telling me exactly what to do. And I never heard her voice, but I just imagined that's how her voice sounded. Silky smooth like chocolate de retilo. Yeah, Esperanza would always say she would hear her aunt's voice in the cookbook. So, Papa, tell me about your research. How is it going? Yes, senor. The one you started after your wife's death. Que descanse en paz. As you both may know, my father was really invested in the theory that his grandmother, Morning Light, had once shared with him. That we all were born with a box of matches and that certain things can strike the light. Right, hold on. <laughs> that certain things can strike the matches and create fire inside the person. And this really was a way of feeding the soul. To have begun my research, Following your abuelo's past research, I have begun to see patterns in every death. Your great aunt Tia, for example, she did when she was with your aunt's abuelo Pedro. They combusted into flames because, they're lo because of their love. <laughs> and as much as it hurts me, your abuelo John went along with them. Not only that, but your mother died the day you told her you were in love. You are blaming me for my mama's death? And Papa, it was not my tia Tita's fault that she could not love Abuelo John back the way he did. If this theory of his is correct, he could have died quickly after being with her because he had already wasted many of the matches with his past wife. And Tita would not have had with him because she would not have loved him because she did not love him as deeply for her matches to light up. 
She would have gone all her life cold and sad, and she would have died just like Mama Elena and Abuela Rosaura. No, not at all. I am trying to say that you were the last person to make her happy. You lived her last match. She died because her life was completely fulfilled. That sounds beautiful, but what about the people left behind? Sometimes we can't tie down those we love because of selfish reasons. Love is about giving and receiving. But you did not die along with your esposa. I understand what you are implying, but I love my wife more than everything. She just happened to love more people than I ever did. That kept her lit up for a longer time. It means she lived a happy life. Tia Tita, you mean. Enough about this. It's your cumpleaños and we should be celebrating. You are right. Let me go get the key. Papa, you mean you can stay at our house, right? I can't. I got stuff to do at my apartment today. Papa, can I ask you something? Go ahead, Mika. Can I because your matches won't work again? Tita, that is something you cannot escape. I am not afraid of the inevitable. I was only afraid of dying without you knowing that I love you. I love you too, Papa. Speranza, I can't wait to see you again. Chocolate, just the way it used to smell. Speranza, it's you. I thought it was all a dream. You've done well with our daughter. I've, I've always, always loved her. her. I just, I just could not forgive her knowing that, that you died right as she told us who her heart belonged to. All these years, I thought it was because you did not approve of it and made me angry. She may have been my daughter, but without you, she would never existed. No one is perfect, Alex. When will I be with you, Esperanza? As soon as you are complete with love. I can start to feel it, knowing that my daughter has forgiven me. You are standing right in front of me. It is time. <laughs>